Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have stuck energy with a cycle of decrease. So if someone's feeling drained, restless here, uh, they've been holding on to something for so long and not able to express it. Uh, holding back, yeah, I should have expressed myself better with daydreaming. I am longing for you. Yeah, someone's been staying in this uh, limbo here, constantly thinking about you and this connection, but not doing anything about it. Overall energy, two of wands. This is about being at a crossroads, making a decision. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have six of pentacles. The Justice card. And the Six of Cups. We have success here. You've overcome some challenges karmically. It looks like the scales are being balanced uh, towards your way because of some karmic debt that you have gone through. And this is retribution for you. Uh, for a job well done, you have uh, come out on the other side with grace and victory here because of how you chose to deal with things and how you chose to be respectful. This is about uh, really giving to people or giving into things even when you don't have anything to give or you feel like you're at a point where you are suffering. You have been selfless here and this is the universe taking notice. Things are about to happen in your favor due to uh, this karmic balance. This is fantastic for you. Okay, so their energy, we have two of pentacles, three of cups, and the moon card. There's a lot of things being hidden here that you are unaware of. There can be a third party in the mix if you're dealing with that, but not for everyone. Uh, what I see here is that this person has not revealed that their true joy and happiness that they've experienced in their life has come from you. And they haven't been able to express this. They've been holding on to their feelings here. Also feeling very frustrated because it's so unknown or uh, they're not sure how things will ever unfold. Because if they chose to do something here and they really chose to do the right thing, they're afraid uh, that they might not be successful in uh, being able to talk to you. Tell me the moon card. Tower. Tower Six of Wands. Yeah, this is what's happening behind the scenes is they're overwhelmed in their emotions, afraid that they're not going to be victorious here. Uh, it's almost like they're getting ready to erupt. They've been suppressing it for so long, and there are things also in their environment that you are unaware of that have happened to them to push them to this point, to be grateful for what they have because it's showing me that they've taken it for granted in the past. Okay, so let's see more about the past here. Let's get some more details. King of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Hermits. Yeah, it was really difficult for you guys to get this person to open up. Uh, it felt like you had to do everything in the world to get this person to even express in that moment how they're feeling. It felt very hard. It felt burdensome to you because they were always clamming up. They were just such a tough nut to crack. It almost felt like uh, you were in this connection alone and uh, it became overwhelming here. Tell the five of wands, please. Three of swords and the eight of pentacles. Yeah, it was a lot of stress. You felt heartbroken because you felt like they didn't care about you, that you weren't important to them. They weren't telling you anything, making it difficult to work with them. It felt like you were the glue that kept this connection together. And what was really disheartening here is that you were there for them in the time of need and when they were going through a lot of stuff, but they weren't ever there for you. And you felt like, what is it going to take to get you to open up to me? To, uh, you know, really express what do you want with this connection? Do what do you want a future or can we just let this go now? And you really had the strength of a thousand men here uh, to have patience and uh, endurance. Tell us the Eight of Pentacles 
Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. So they were frustrated inside. Uh, they didn't know what path to take. They felt like there was something in their environment stopping them from really progressing or making a decision to give all of themselves to this connection. So it can be anything here, a third party, distance, finances, whatever it is, it's different for everyone. But I see with the Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, this really is about stability and somebody sacrificing for the other. That The universe has brought about a situation here. This is very faded. Um, and you and them are learning a lesson here. This is really about giving and receiving. So one party needed to learn how to give and the other party needed to learn how to receive. And it's showing up in your energy here about receiving. Uh, tell us Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, that you will go to the ends of the earth for anyone, for this person. And you learned a tough lesson too, that you are to not give of yourself, that you need to fill up your own cup and you need to make room for your own time, your own love, right? So their uh, lesson here was to give, to not take things for granted. So this really is a yin to the yang. Uh, and this person realized how much you gave, how much you stayed in this with them, even though they were very difficult here. For some of them, they could cause some situations here with you uh, out of anger or being aggressive. Uh, and if it's not that, I see that it was passive aggressive, okay? There was always this turmoil or underlining thing happening that just wasn't spoken about. Death, strength, and the two of swords. The challenge here is that you never give up. You are solid. You are there for somebody no matter what. And even to the point where it drains you. And I see with the death card here, uh, this is a situation where the universe said, okay, enough is enough. I'm cutting this off because of how you're being treated and what's been done here. And it's time for them to learn their lesson. And they need to learn how to give, to open up their hearts and not take people or things for granted. Uh, this really is about, even though it's easy to get the love from you that they want or the support that they want, they don't need to take advantage of it. They need to learn how to open up even when it's hard and give back because this created a tumultuous cycle for you where you went through so much emotional pain. And I see it here in the cards where it got to the point where you were starting to actually misjudge your own feelings. Okay, tell me the Two of Swords. Ten of Wands. They were just unwilling to see the truth that, you know, their heart wants what it wants. They love you, but they don't care. They weren't willing to see the burden they were putting on you, the stress that they were putting on you. It's it took the scales of justice and tipped it so far into left field on their side that uh, when that happens, karmically, the universe says enough, enough is enough. And the pain that you endured, I see here, two of swords, 10 of wands got to a boiling point, the point of no return where you had to literally choose yourself. And uh, it became really difficult to see this person's point of view because they weren't willing to open up. They weren't willing to express anything and they weren't showing that they even cared. Uh, tell me the strength card. Empress, oh, I just heard they left me at times when I needed them the most and they were never around. So yeah, you felt like this person abandoned you at times and they were just using you. You were there for them. They were never there for you. Uh, Empress, King of Wands, and the Temperance card. Yeah, it was always about them, what they could get from you. Um, how can you meet their needs? And it started to affect your normal daily life. Things started to feel unbalanced. Uh, and it got to the point where you had to say no. You had to detach. And as soon as that happened, and that energy you put back into yourself, this person all of a sudden could feel it. And things started to change. Okay, so let's see what they're about to do here. Seven of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Emperor, Chariots, and the Ten of Pentacles. So there's a huge shift here that's happening where not only do we have control being broken, 
but finally something's going to be revealed to you, Capricorn. Something that you've needed to see happen for a long time. This is karmic retribution for you for everything that you've gone through. And things are turning in your favor, so get excited. Uh, so if this reading's resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.